morning, boys. Hey, hey Dad. Dad. We're playing a game of murder. I'm killing Lucas. Just like I killed Keith. How many times did Dan shoot Keith? One, one, one. That's all it took. He left me alone again. The CAT scan didn't reveal anything abnormal. As far as I can tell, there's nothing wrong with you. Yeah. Nothing at all. Nothing but net. You miss it, don't you? Yeah, I do. Look, I know these prenatal visits can be a little boring. No, it's okay. I have a free period, and I told you, I'll be here every step of this pregnancy. Karen Rowe? This won't take long. See if you can break a record. Everything's looking good, Karen. Do you have any questions? Yes, um... Who can I talk to about my son's heart condition? You seem happy. Big game tonight. You going? I can't. I gotta keep the cafe open late. Why the sudden change? Well, the extra income is good, especially with Deb taking Trick away. Oh, Deb. Who'd have thought she'd be the one making your life a living hell and I'd be hanging out with you at the cafe? Listen, every single person in town's gonna be at that game tonight. What's the point of staying open? Think about it. Oh, Lucas, thanks for your help today. <laughs> good luck with the game. Uh, thank you, Mom. Hey, I heard that Nathan came to you for help, and I just wanted look, to say... Look, that... I know what you're thinking. I was wrong to turn him away. But trust me, I had his best interest at heart. What? He emancipated himself. That means he has to deal with his own problems. That's what becoming a man is all about, Lucas. It may hurt now, but one day he'll look back on this and thank me. I wouldn't count on that. Good luck tonight. Hello, Karen. Deb. You sober? <laughs> I spent the last hour outside a bar. I wanted to go in. And believe me, a drink would have helped me to say this. Dan's in love with you. Deb, I know how this must look to you, but it's not what you think it is. He told me himself before I went into rehab. You've been a good friend to me, Karen, in spite of some really bad decisions. So it's time for me to return the favor. I don't know what Dan has said or done, but I know that man will never change. He's still a sadistic bastard. Please, for your sake, for the sake of your baby, run away as fast as you can. Hey. hey, kiddo. Boy, are we busy at the cafe. 
Apparently reporters are hungry when they're chasing a scandal about high school gambling. The investigators are calling me. What did you say? Well, I told them that my son has too much integrity to be involved in something like that. Do you have anything else you want to tell me? No. All right. And I will talk to our lawyer about what you should do or say. Yeah, that's fine. Um, look, I gotta, I gotta go do some things, okay? Hey, Lucas, look. The truth can never hurt you. I hope you're right, Mom. I really do. Mom. Like, I need to apologize to you. I do know some things about the gambling stuff. And tomorrow, I'm going to go public and let them know that it was me. Even though it was Nathan? Bruce Knuckles? Dante? In trouble with money? What are you doing, Lucas? I did miss those free throws on purpose. Why? Because your brother needed you? And he needs me now. Mom. He has a lot to lose. I want you to listen to me, all right? In this life, honor is important. Your name, sometimes that is all that you have. And this isn't honorable. Of course it is. But if you do this, people are going to judge you. They are going to talk. They are going to see you differently. They are going to label you. Just like they labeled you. When you got pregnant with me and they all judged you. But you knew the truth. You knew who you were. And wasn't that enough? Sometimes. But I wouldn't wish that journey on anyone, Lucas. And certainly not my son. <laughs>